Good morning. Good morning. And welcome. It's good to see you. Now, I'm not going to talk about all, you know, this as unprecedented, unprecedented times or uncharted, uncharted, uncharted waters or, or anything like that. I mean, we all know that, right? But I will talk about this as as a unique moment in time, a time we can make the future better than the past. So good morning, I'm Deborah Loader. I'm a certified transformational health coach. And whether you're joining me live or watching the replay, just settle in and appreciate the moment. And if you have any questions as we go through this, just just let me know in the comments. So what's going well? Now, that may seem like a crazy or even an insensitive question right now, but, but I invite you to think of some of the good things that are happening for you right now. Now, thinking about the good or you know what's going well helps us to focus on the positive and can even create some positive energy. And you can think of it too as you know, what are you grateful for right now? You know, there is always something to be grateful for. I mean, and it may be something really small at the moment, but just go ahead and, and hold on to that. And we're going to be talking today about three ways to hold on to the good stuff. Now, what are the things that you have appreciated with this time of slowing down, of staying home and relying on technology. I believe it's so important to find the good things, the good times, and, and figure out how to make the future better than the past. And what can we learn? You know, what good things can we continue? Let's talk about how to keep those good and wonderful things in our life. The first way is to step back. Take some time to reflect. Reflect over the last year or last six months or, you know, and then over the last six weeks. And ask yourself these questions and just get really curious. No judgment, only curiosity. What is one thing you can celebrate in your life right now? one thing. And what do you want more of in your life? Make a list of that. What do you want less of in your life? Make a list of that. Where do you feel certain in your life? And where do you feel uncertain? What do you know that you love doing that you haven't prioritized in maybe quite a while? What would you do if you had more time? And are you ready for this to be different? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put these questions in a post so that you can take some time and reflect and journal and, and get really curious. You know, many times we just don't take the time to really ask ourselves what we want. So take this opportunity with me right now and, and ask yourself those questions. Thinking about the last six weeks, you know, what have you been able to enjoy more of that you really want to take into the future? You know, for example, um, are you working from home right now? And how's that going? You know, do you like working from home? Maybe you find it too distracting. And if you do like working from home, how will you incorporate that into your life later? Is there an opportunity to do that in your current position? And if not, what might you be willing to do about that? Are you homeschooling the kids right now? Maybe you find that you really enjoy that. Maybe you never realized that before. And if you do, what might that look like going forward? How about cooking more at home? I mean, have you enjoyed that <laughs> or maybe not so much? But how are you feeling physically by eating more home cooking as opposed to fast food? 
What about making memories with your family? Uh, maybe around the dinner table. You know, perhaps over the last year, everyone has been so busy that you don't even eat together. With the family home now, instead of everyone running to different activities, are you finding that renewed sense of family? What would that be like if you could take that time together and figure out a way to keep that going after life gets back to normal? In what ways have you been incorporating more self-care into your routine? You know, maybe getting in some yoga online or you know, reading for pleasure, taking a bath, maybe even getting in a few more walks outside. You know, close your eyes if it feels comfortable and just visualize the future. Visualization is a truly powerful tool. So just consider in your visualization, what are some of the things you see yourself doing or not doing? And what feelings are present in your body as you can see yourself doing those things? Maybe what challenges or difficulties did you have to overcome to make that possible? And what becomes possible for you from this place? If your future self were able to give your present self any words of wisdom from the journey ahead, what might that be? Now the bottom line is, what do you want? What things do you want to take into the future with you? What's important about that? And if you had that, what gets to happen for you or for your family? The second thing, number two, is let go. We had to step back, now let go. Sometimes we cling to certain ways of being or seeing the world through a particular lens simply because we don't believe there's a better option available. And this is an opportunity to let go of your previous frame of thinking and embody a new, more empowering way of thinking. And here are some questions that you can ask yourself. What have you been tolerating or putting up with that's no longer serving you? Who might benefit in your life when you make these changes? Who else might be impacted positively or negatively? And what's the payoff in keeping things as they were? Now, a way to let go is to clear the clutter. That's one way, clearing the clutter. And it could be physical, like in your home or your office environment, or it could be your calendar. Clearing the clutter on your calendar, right? And it could be clearing the mental and emotional clutter, like with a brain dump. If you're going to have room in your life for the good stuff that you've discovered during this, this moment in time, then more than likely, there will have to be some clearing out of clutter. You can't put new furniture into your house until you get rid of the old. Right, so this is a great time to clear that clutter. And number three, so we had step back, let go, and now number three is to say yes and take empowered action. So what can that look like? And now when you think about the one or two things that you've discovered that really light you up, that really give you energy, something that you love, Look at all that's possible when you add those to your life going forward. Now, your, your mind may want to fall back into the old ways of, well, that would be great, but I don't know how, or it's just not possible. I invite you to remember everything is possible and there is always a way. And just because you don't know how, 
does it mean it can't be done? Those are two things I believe, and you can believe them too. Now, here's a quote from Joel A. Barker. Vision without action is merely a dream. Action without vision just passes the time. But vision with action can change the world. Vision with action can change your world. Now, a couple things to consider. What are your top strengths and how can you use those to move forward? And if you really aren't sure about your strengths, I have an assessment that you can take. It's a free assessment. Just let me know if you're interested in that. So thinking about your strengths, how about what are some of your past successes? You know you have some, you know, give it some thought. So you already have your strengths and you've had some success in your life. What might you have to believe in order to succeed here? And what can you do this coming week to put things in motion to continue to hold on to the good stuff? You know, what are you most excited about as you take this first step? What can you, what will you commit to? And on a scale of one to 10, how committed are you to having this be different? Now, what is one baby step that you can take right now that would indicate that you're moving forward? Now, I know I gave you tons of questions to think about. And one of the things we so often don't do is think. So I invite you to reflect, think, ask yourself things, and answer yourself. This is a powerful time and a powerful practice, and I want you to be equipped to make the future better than the past. Step back, let go, and say yes with empowered action. Those are the three ways to hold on to the good stuff. Now, I will post these questions in, in a, a post uh, in this event. Now, if you find a section or part of that that feels like a struggle, then let's talk about it. Because I want to encourage and inspire you that positive change is possible. More than that, it is, it's achievable. Absolutely. So if, if you still feel that it's too hard or it's impossible, maybe, maybe you could use some brainstorming. I mean, remember, there's always a way. But when we get stuck, we, we just don't know how. So let's brainstorm some ideas and get you unstuck. So put a comment in the chat or just or reach out to me privately. We can make the future better than the past and we can do it together. So thank you for joining me today, either live or in the replay. I know many of you are going to join me in the replay. So thank you for that. And if there's any questions, please let me know. So until next time, be safe, stay healthy, and live well. Goodbye.